So guys, um, I want to talk again about um, the issue of the coach, alright? Guys, if you are new, please subscribe, alright? Subscribe now and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that when I post a new video like this, you will be the first to watch. So a lot of Cameroonians have been uh, reacting that uh, the Cameroonian head coach, Antonio Conte South, was supposed to be sacked. Well, um, and yesterday a communique came out from the Ministry of uh, Sports and Physical Education saying that there is no need sacking the coach, all right? According to the minister, the sport minister, he believes that the coach is the best person as of now. Of when it concerns the national team, the Cameroon national team, all right? And I think, um, according to the message, or according to what um, the minister said yesterday, it is very possible that the coach will still be the coach of the national team if at all they win Algeria to qualify for Qatar 2022, all right? There is something I noticed about uh, what he said. He caught uh, that, or he brought out uh, the results of uh, Clarence Sedov, all right? Sedov that came and was sacked. And uh, if you look at the, 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 let me say, the records of the past coaches, I think Concesao is, should be, should, should, should not be sacked. Let me put it this way. The reason is because Looking at the African Cup of Nations, yes, it's rather sad that we were expecting Cameroon to play the finals. Yes, it didn't happen that way. But um, I think Cameroon taking the third position, the coach didn't put in much work, all right, as he was supposed to do. But I think because of the confidence of the team and the coach as well and the technical staff, Cameroon managed to pull the third place. Coming back from a 0-3 victory Burkina Faso was leading them three goals to zero and Cameroon came back thanks to Abubakar Vincent that was introduced into the second half of the game and Cameroon drew 3-3 and went further to beat Burkina Faso in a penalty shootouts. So um, the sport minister has uh, turned down offers from Cameroonians, let me say the general public, saying that the coach should be sacked. I do not think the coach should be sacked. The, the, the head coach, all right, Mr. Conceição, the Portuguese uh, trainer. This is my point because first, the third position was not bad, though that was not what we were expecting. That is my first point. The second reason I don't want him to be sacked is because looking at the World Cup, the matches are coming up in uh, in March, all right. We are playing um, Algeria, and Algeria left African Cup of Nations without winning a single match, though they are the defending. They were defending their title. They won the last edition, all right? The current edition was won by Senegal, but they won the last edition. Coming back with a striking force, I didn't see them playing well, and they end up living without winning a match, all right? They left at the first stage. So I think Algeria is preparing very hard for the match, and it will be good Cameroon maintain the same spirit, all right? Because sacking a coach that is going to face Algeria or sacking a coach of a team that will be facing Algeria next month is not uh, the best thing to do as of this point. That is what I think, alright? So I think the minister has a point in that direction because if you sack the coach now, you may destabilize the team and bringing a new person inside or a new trainer, it may not make sense because this trainer will not know these players and might not, might not have born very well with them so it may be a problem to the team to qualify for that match and that is a crucial match now if we look at the match it is either Concesa or win he will stay the reason is because he cannot win that match go for the world cup and he is sacked when he is about to go for the world cup that is the thing now the only thing for him to draw his uh, let me say his contract again pushing his contract forward is to bring some good results during the World Cup because if he qualifies and go to Qatar and can't win a match it is still going to bring him very good problems and I think for Conce Sao to keep his position or the head coach he needs to win at least two games and winning two games means you qualify for the next round which is what Cameroon may be looking for but if he doesn't qualify for the next round I think he may lose his job because especially now Cameroonians are saying we need a home base uh, trainer Yes, it's good. We want our own to coach the team. We want someone who has experience, knowledge in football to coach the team. And we have a couple of ex alliances. All right, what I mean by alliance are people who have played with the Cameroon national team 
long ago and we have a couple of them who are saying they want to call you <coughs> excuse me who are saying they want to call the national team so i think um, for the coach now the only thing for him to do now is to make sure he writes history take cameroon to qatar and of course qualify for the next round of the world cup that way his contract may be okay that is what i think his contract may be okay but if he loses that match it is going to be or if he lost the match it is going to be a problem now there are so much problem or let me say there is a lot of big problems or problems already in the african continent senegal who recently beat egypt in the finals to clinch the african cup of nation title again will be battling with the same senegal or with the same egypt senegal and egypt will battle again for a position in in the world cup qatar 2022 that is going to be played in december or is it november december so and the egyptians i do not think the egyptians will be willing to lose this time it is going to be a thrilling encounter and looking at the way uh, senegal egypt is i think senegal has an advantage over egypt but you never can tell it's football so let's see how it goes the next match that is going to be it may be blood for blood is ghana nigeria ghana nigeria left ghana left the nation's cup early then nigeria left again after them now considering the fact that nigerians are not in good terms with ghanaians or let me say ghanaians are bringing hate or how do i put it because i know all of us we are brothers all right i do not see why because it started from a certain musician he was saying that nigerians don't promote uh, ghanaian music well i can't say more about that but i think Nigeria Ghana is going to be another problem considering the fact that uh, Miraslov was sacked the Ghanaian head coach who came to Cameroon for AFCON was sacked and um, a replacement has been done the assistant head coach of Borussia Dortmund in Germany has been put in place as the technical team and uh, I think is it Chris Hutton one uh, Englishman like that or maybe he's not from England so they have been replaced the two guys have been put into the technical team of the ghanaian football federation so it is going to be a thrilling encounter but looking at the current state in which ghana was at the nation's cup i do not think ghana can outstand nigeria for the qualification i do not think so but again it's football so many things will be happening so let's wait and see and the other matches that will be coming up all right so we pray that match um, should be a trailing encounter they should play well and let the best team qualify it doesn't matter who qualifies and represent the continent because all we want is someone from the continent to go ahead all right probably the semi-finals and play the finals in qatar that is our hope but it doesn't really matter who is qualified anybody who is qualified and who is strong enough to win games should qualify and go to qatar that is what the continent needs all right but again i will be happy if my own country can 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 pull through even in the quarterfinals and go to the semi-finals why not win the trophy so that is it i hope this is something but i think sucking the cameronian head coach as of now is not the best solution all right so i'm happy that his contract has been extended now we pray that results should be delivered that 